Greetings, my friends. The world is simply falling apart. Uh, the world is manufacturing turmoil, making things a lot worse on itself than it has to be. And uh, we're at the end. The world is never going to be the same as it was before the lockdown and the virus came. It's not going to happen. And I told you when that first came out, I told you it's going to be like this, and I stand by it. It's not going to ever be the same. We're at the very end of the age of the Gentiles, the age of the, of the Jews, the seventh week of Daniel is coming up soon. And look at the world right now. Look what's happening. You've got people who are rioting. It started, you know, protesting. Let me explain to you what protesting is. Protesting is a peaceful form of getting your point across. You, you use peace and you get it across and you don't go out and loot stores. You don't go out and burn down cars and buildings. You don't, you don't kill uh, bystanders, including policemen and everyone else. That's not how you protest. That's what's called that's what's called rioting. That's what's called looting and pillaging, and that's against the law. And people that do that uh, should be arrested. And I don't know who, who, what's going on, but I've heard, I've heard uh, interviews before uh, on the online where people have interviewed looters as they're looting, and and they're not wearing a mask. Of course, no one's social distancing. Some wear masks, some don't. Doesn't matter. People are crammed together, uh, in stores looting, crammed together, and 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 violent protests. Some peaceful protests, but most are violent. And the looters are saying, hey, I got to get what's mine. Uh, excuse me, when you're stealing from a store, that's not what, what's yours. It belongs to people in the stores. And the sad part about it is that they, they said now that the black community, small businesses, businesses are getting devastated by, by being broken into and burned down and just torn to pieces by the very people of their own color who are trying, saying they're trying to have a protest against one of their own who was killed uh, they say when a cop put his, his knee on his, on his neck, they're saying that's what killed him. But now they're saying in the news as well that that cop and the guy that, that was, that was uh, killed with the knee on his neck worked together in a bar, I guess bouncers or whatever, and they had a lot of bad blood between them. So this is not some just some cop thing. This is a personal a vendetta thing, it sounds like. And again, as I've, if I, as I've explained to you before, they've, they, they've done sur surveys everywhere, black communities, white communities, Hispanic everywhere. Twice as many white people are, are murdered by white and black cops alike, twice as many or more than are murdered, uh, than the black community murdered by white or black cops. And blacks kill whites two and a half times more than whites kill blacks. Blacks kill blacks and whites kill whites about even. So again, there's not a big race problem in this country. There's been problems uh, for a while, but those problems have been getting better and better and better and people have been getting along. And I can tell you, because I've seen it with my own eyes, but now, they don't like that. See, the media and all the media around the world and all the governments don't like seeing people get alone. They want people to hate each other and be angry, which is why they're fomenting all this racism and all this anger and hatred and just evil everywhere. But now you're seeing on top of this, around the entire world, people are now rioting and looting and pillaging. They can't control them. And there's no reason for that. It's just spread like wildfire because see, the devil has the world right now. When, when, you, when you tell God you don't want him, you tell his son, Jesus Christ, you don't want him, they turn you over to Satan. That's your default. And Satan loves having control of the world because he is the God of the air. God's given him the ability to do that. And he is the one fomenting all this anger and wickedness. And if the world loved Jesus Christ, if the world had Jesus Christ in their hearts, including Christians, sadly, few Christians even have Jesus in their hearts anymore. They're so backslidden. The Holy Spirit left a long time ago, and they're too dumbed down to understand that. If, if, if the world had Jesus Christ as a whole, we'd have none of this. It would be peace. It would be like it was in the Garden of Eden. But that's not going to happen because the world has turned its back on Jesus Christ and on God. Thus, you have what you have. But now, just in the last two days, you got all kinds of countries that want to kill each other right now. They're, they're getting ready to start wars. You have all the major wars in Israel. Psalm 83 war, the Gog Magog war. You got the Isaiah 17 prophecy with Damascus all lining up and ready to blow up at any second now. You've got all kinds of record flooding, all kinds of record. You've got you've got um, 90s in the Arctic Circle region. You've got snow coming over in England right now and other places. You've got flooding everywhere. You've got fires everywhere. You've got tornadoes and typhoons and hurricanes and earthquakes and volcanoes and tsunami. Anything you can imagine. Anything you can imagine. And, and, and I guarantee you, these big earthquakes keep happening. A big tsunami is going to come again as well. And it's just happening like, like wildfire everywhere. And this is all because the world has turned its back on God. You can say what you want to say. <clears throat> I know the truth. <clears throat> You've got sexual perversion everywhere. You've got babies being slaughtered in their mother's wombs everywhere. You've got anti-Semitism raging everywhere on the earth. You've got people, look at people's eyes when you walk around. They have such hatred and anger. They don't love like Jesus Christ taught us to love. And I love everyone out there, man. I don't care who you are. 
All lives matter to me. I, I, I don't subscribe to any life mattering any more than any other life because Jesus Christ does not either. Jesus loves black, white, red, yellow, brown, doesn't matter, and so do I. I love all of you. But like Jesus, I don't. I can't tolerate your sinful lives, those who are living wicked lives, including most Christians, as I did on my sermon over the weekend. And I'm just sick of it, man. I am sick and tired of seeing the world falling apart. But I understand it's how it has to be. And I love this world. I can't wait to be raptured any second of any day and give this evil, wicked world to all you out there who want to loot and pillage and riot and, and, and rape and murder and, and break the law of all colors. It doesn't matter who you are. It's happening everywhere. I want to give it all to you. I'd like to see you go to heaven with me, first of all. But if you don't want to go and you want to keep hating on Jesus and hating on God and hating on the Bible, hating on real Christians, I want to go and leave it all to you. I could care less. I want to get out of here. I loathe this wicked planet. I am so tired of the wicked, evil media, politicians, everywhere. It just makes me sick. The people around the world have turned into, into, into monsters for the most part. And I am sick and tired of it, man. And they want to get rid of the cops. <laughs> Can you imagine if the cops are gone? The, the problem is not the cops. I've already explained that. There's been surveys. If the cops are gone, all hell will break loose around this world. And the criminals will be having a heyday, man. It just amazes me the stupidity in people's minds and what they're actually trying to put out. It just makes me, makes my, my head want to explode. I can't understand it. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of everything, man. And, you know, I put my videos out like this. And, again, it'll get throttled. YouTube, Google, Facebook, all of them. And Google owns YouTube. They all work for the devil. They hate Jesus Christ. They hate God. They hate the Holy Bible. And they hate true Christians like me. They throttle my videos. You know, my videos, I've got 75,300 subscribers. I should be getting, like I used to in the old days, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100,000, even a million views. Right now, I'm averaging eh, about three maybe 3,000 a video, which is crazy. It shows you the throttle of you, man. They don't want the word getting out. You know what? God will make everything work. He will turn evil into good, and he will use their evil for his good. He'll have those that want to hear the truth, hear it, and the rest, and they need to hear it, the rest, I'm not worried about. I am just so tired of this earth. Every day I wake up, I can't stand it here. I want to go to be with Jesus, and I want to be in the rapture. I am ready, man. This place is an evil, wicked, filthy, festering, garbage dump cesspool. And I can't stand it. Love the people. Hate the way they're acting. Hate the sinful lives they live. But I love you all. And I want you all to come to Jesus Christ before your time runs out. If you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior or you're a backslidden Christian, pray the prayer to the six steps in a box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all so much. And again, I don't want to see any of you spend forever in hell in the lake of fire. But true Christians, this is good news for us, man. I want you all to look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you. Help me share the word. Help me get the word out. I love you all so much. I just love you. I don't want to see anything happen to anyone. You guys take care of yourselves. Share the video. Even though it's going to be muted and throttled, share it anyways. I love you. May God bless you. We fly soon. Bye.